Here's question 7 from section C with the combined gas laws. Gas left in a used aerosol can is at a pressure of 1 atm at 27 degrees Celsius. If this can is thrown into a fire, what is the internal pressure of the gas when its temperature reaches 927 degrees Celsius? Ooh. So keep in mind, we are always, 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 for this part of the worksheet, using that combined gas law. Keep in mind that if it's never mentioned, you can assume it to be constant. So for instance, at no point does this say the actual volume of the gas can. Plus, we know everything in this problem is happening in the context of being within that gas can. So it's constant, and we're going to assume that it does not matter. So we're going to cross out that variable, just looking for the pressures and the temperatures. P1, T1, P2, and T2. We see the first pressure is 1 atm. The temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. We want to know the pressure when it heats up a ton. To 927 degrees Celsius. The most important thing is that you must convert to Kelvin first. So we're going to convert both of these to Kelvin because for pressure and volume those units don't matter. You can plug in whatever you'd like as long as they match but it must be Kelvin. So we convert it 300.15 Kelvin 927 plus 273.15 we get oh my goodness 1200.15 Kelvin. Huge. Super hot. Now that we have everything matching up, we can go ahead and plug it in. Keep in mind that since pressure, the first pressure is in ATM atmospheres, the pressure coming out will also be in ATM or atmospheres. So let's plug it in. 1.0 ATM over that temperature in Kelvin, so 300.15 Kelvin equals P2. That's our unknown over T2, 1200.15 Kelvin. We're going to go ahead and cross multiply those to solve for P2. So it's going to be P2 multiplied by 300.15 Kelvin. Cross multiply that other side, 1.0 atm for 1200.15 Kelvin. Again, we're going to want to isolate P2, so we're going to divide both sides by 300.15 Kelvin. It cancels. So we're on the other side, we're going to do 1 times 1200.15 divided by 300.15. So we get that the new pressure is 3.998. So we can go ahead and write on that to 4.00 ATM. Very, very high pressure. Awesome.